our friends Retro Stew here as always and I just came home from work after being at the store and after giving classes so I'm tired I'm dirty and I'm not gonna show up in the video but I did receive a box and I decided to do the unboxing for you guys to see of course I already opened the box so it'd be easier to film and show what was inside the box. So, I have to thank Philippe Martinez. He asked me not to say from what store we got this hookup, this connection to these games. He said, my friend, pick what you want. We made a video call and he said, pick what you want, my friend. The prices are excellent. And my friend, thank you very much. I decided and ended up picking like six Super Famicom games and two Famicom games and it's a box of Japanese goodness. I already took them out of the box so let's get it started. Put this box over here and start with the games. Let me leave the Famicom games for the end. They were actually cheap. Of course I'm not going to talk about the price. This one I don't even know the title in English. So, if any of you, my friends out there seeing this video, knows the title of this role-playing game, tell me. It's, it's a game based on decisions. You end up doing decisions and it ends up showing how the game ends according to those decisions. Nothing big to add there. It's cool to have in the collection. It was extra cheap. Why not? I'm gonna keep it anyway. Now, a game that I like. I already have Fatal Fury Special and now I have Fatal Fury 2. It's an excellent fighting game. Always cool to add to my collection. What else? Front Mission. Kind of a strategy game, but it's in Japanese, but easily you can, with time and a little bit of patience, you end up knowing how to play it. Looks extra, extra good. I already have Gun Hazard. Gun Hazard is the second part of Front Mission. It's a little bit easier to play. It's, Gun Hazard is a lot like Cybernator, but looks better. And Front Mission is a strategy game. Great imagery, great graphics, and nice game to play. I can tell you that for what I've seen. And you easily get the sense of what you're doing. A cool game that I got is Golden Fighter. I saw this game on the shelf, I said I gotta get it, I already heard of it before. And it's like a lot like Kung Fu and Vigilante, but of course better graphics it's on a 16-bit console you know and it looks pretty cool it's got great music and you got like six or seven different characters to choose between levels because their power goes down during the fights and you can change them it's cool great game recommend this one if you can get it cheap it's actually not an expensive game now a game that really caught my attention and I already knew what game it was was Yu Yu Yakushu I know there's seven of these or five and they're all direct fighters but this one isn't. This one is a fighter mixed with strategy. It remembers a little bit of the pocket moon style games you know where you put a character against the other and use different powers but in this case every button is a different power and a contra attack. So if you get the guy jumping you know you can use certain techniques to attack the jump and if you get the guy on the floor you can use different techniques for that and it's really cool and the image and the graphics are beautiful excellent for a 16-bit game really recommend this game it's in Japanese of course but it's easy to get with the gameplay and easy to get in order to play it correctly you just need a little bit of time and experience and you can play it Last game, Super Famicom, is a game I already had in one of those old school illegal carts, but it's always cool to have a single cart. It's Ultraman. Ultraman is a fighter, a very, very simple and easy fighter. You only can play as, with Ultraman, but hey, it's cool to have in the collection. Yeah, why not, Ultraman? It's cool, nothing else to say about that. Now, what games did I get for the Famicom? From Taito, Frontline, I played a lot of this in the legal TV game consoles. This has a lot of nostalgia to me, love it. It's a great game, Frontline, very basic. If you're not one of those guys picky with graphics and blah blah blah, this and that, and you really like retro games, this is cool. 
like it a lot for me, maybe because of nostalgia, but I like it. And another game that I've heard is hard as hell. And finally I've got it. Transformers Mystery of Convoy. I know this game is hard. It's not that bad. It's a side scroller action. Cool. Cool to have in the collection. It's one of those cases where the the Japanese game was so hard they ended up not porting it to to NES, NES instead of Famicom. They ended up not pouring it to NES. They left it in Japan because it was extra hard, so they never made a version for Europe. But now I have it, and I know it's cool. I've heard a lot about it. Now, what did I get in two flea markets? I got Pilot Wings. It was extra cheap. Pretty well conserved in good shape, the cart, and finally I got it. Yeah, I didn't have Pilot Wings. I know it's one of the launch titles for the... Super Nintendo, and I got this Mario figure, one of those McDonald's Mario figures. This I consider pricey, it was like 20 cents, why not? And it's cool to put on the shelf close to the other ones. And why not? Here it is. It's me, Mario, and I'm at Retro Stu's gaming room, yuppie! God, I'm tired, I'm going crazy right now. Now let's get down to the gifts. Two friends of mine sent me some gifts. Kazem et al always gets these cool uh, games for me at nice prices. Now he gave me some manuals. He gave me a manual for Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I already had one manual, but I'm gonna keep this one, of course, because not like some scumbag friends that I had in the past, I like, end up giving stuff to them, you know, when trade stuff extra cheap and they end up selling it. I hate that. Nothing against it, but I think you shouldn't do that kind of stuff when you get a gift. At least that's my opinion. Well, continuing. Lolo, I don't have Lolo 1, I only have Lolo 2 and 3, but I have the manual for Lolo 1, so when I have it, it's cool. I already have the manual, excellent. Tiny Toon, didn't have the manual, now I have the manual for Tiny Toon Adventures. And yes, I do not have Lion King on the Super Nintendo. Maybe because it didn't show up yet at a price that I would say, oh great. Lion King, and I, I don't believe in paying a lot for some games. And another manual that I, for a game that I don't have yet, but I want to have it, the game, I'll have already have the manual, is Stargate. The idea that I have is always, get the game, screw the box, screw the manual. But when they show it up at a nice price, I can't say no, of course. Everybody knows that everybody wants to have the most pristine, complete collection. But when it comes down to Nintendo and Super Nintendo, most of the times I say no. You see the, these here because I was cleaning the Super Famicom games. But let's continue. This is something that I've had for a while and finally I'm going to talk about it. My friend Faust Ferreira, thank you very much my friend for this. It's a Turbotronic joystick by Camerica but made for NTDEC that made excellent clones of the Famicom direct clones just the same material but illegal and I think they had some kind of problem like uh, Tengen had with uh, Nintendo of America I, had, I think they had the same kind of problem let's get the box Opened, I already opened it a little bit so to be easier to show in the video. Let's see if I can do this without making too much. No, it's okay, it's done. Twenty-five hours later, I got the box open and the joysticks out. So here it is, and as you can see, it's uh, completely like the Camerica joystick. But this is made for Famicom, as you can see here, by the joystick port. And it's really well made and it plays excellent. And you got these adapt a little knobs where you can intensify or take out the level of the turbo on the controller. And you can s select player 2. Always select player 2 to start up the joystick, then put on player 1. I don't know why. At least in my case it works better. And it's excellent. Metal base and great material. They have exactly the same uh, joystick for the Nintendo, but this one is for the Famicom. And that's all I received this week. Unboxing, 
gifts and stuff that I got at the flea market. Well, my friends, nothing else to say. Be well. And yeah, I got my door, my door, my fingers stuck in the door. It hurt like hell, but I'm okay. Be well, my friends.